Hey peoples, just chilling, chilling out here, watching some television, trying to unwind. Today was a brutal day for me. I was very tired most of the day, I slept most of the day, which was a downside for things because I really wanted to go out and work, do my business, but it did happen, so it is what it is. Now I'm just watching the news, but I haven't been able to really talk to anybody about the fact that we actually have, uh, we actually have this fight that they talked about, which is Billy Joe Saunders versus Canelo Alvarez. And um, if you really think about uh, that matchup between Billy Joe Saunders and Canelo Alvarez, that's a, a fight that's interesting uh, because Billy Joe Saunders won is undefeated, just recently beat uh, a world champion, a WBO world champion at super, it's uh, super middleweight. So he, he got, and he, he, he definitely uh, outboxed the guy. But um, I would say that I was listening to what Tyson Fury said about the fight. And Tyson Fury had this opinion of the fight that Billy Joe Saunders wouldn't get a fear, uh, he wouldn't get a fair judgment if he were to beat Canelo Alvarez. Or if the fight was even close, he wouldn't get a fair judgment. You know, would get the call. So if he, even if he won the fight, he would lose the fight. Even if he, he, you know, it was a close fight, he would lose the fight. All right, this is what I gotta say about that. Now I listen to different people talk about this. There was another guy called Amir TV, I think it's called, and Emir TV, and he was talking about how Canelo, uh, you know, would beat Billy Joe Saunders. Because Canelo has so much experience, and uh, he was saying that Billy Joe Saunders ain't really fought nobody at the level that Canelo has fought, and so just based off the experience and the skill set that Canelo has, he would be Billy, Billy, Billy Joe Saunders. This is what I gotta say: a lot of people are using excuses. They're using a lot of excuses to. Okay, hold on a second, folks. I see some. Somebody's calling me in the middle of this telecast. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just wrap this up real quick with you guys and then I'm gonna try and get to that. Uh, what, uh, what I've realized is that uh, Canelo Alvarez, has been, this, this is the excuse that a lot of people are using. And it's not a fair excuse. They're saying that, one, Canelo's a cash cow, so if the fight is close, Canelo's gonna get the decision. The second thing they're saying, because they're saying the judges, the judges favor Canelo. The second thing they're saying is that Canelo Alvarez, they're saying that Canelo Alvarez would get a decision anyway if the fight goes the distance. So unless you drop or stop Canelo Alvarez, you ain't going to get a decision. That's an unfair thing that they're saying. Now, I do get that when Canelo faced Floyd Mayweather, the judges' scorecards were ridiculous. I do get, I'm going to be absolutely fair. The judges scorecard for the open scoring of Canelo versus Austin Trout were wider than they should have been. All right, especially at a certain point in the fight. I agree with that. All right? But I do not agree that Cotto beat Canelo or that this fight was close with Cotto. I do not agree that the two Gennady Golovkin fights that Canelo fought were close at all. They weren't close. Okay? I do not fault Adelaide Bird for a scorecard because I had a similar scorecard card pretty close to that. I had Canelo beating uh, GGG 9-3. Okay? So I'm just saying that because I think there's this, again, people do these things. I was just talking to another brother uh, who was saying, you know, there was this circulated rumor that Floyd Mayweather couldn't punch. Right? Obviously Canelo beat Danny Jacobs, clearly. So nobody can say anything about that. Danny Jacobs got beat. Right? But my point is that they're using this excuse now, and I'm hearing it with Tyson Fury especially, and I, again, I do, I, I get where Tyson Fury is coming from, because he beat, he beat uh, Deontay Wilder and he didn't get the decision, so I get it. But my point is that Canelo, alright, they're using that excuse with Canelo, like, you know, uh, like what they, they, they're trying to say he's a golden boy, so like Oscar De La Hoya or whatever. <coughs> Who got decisions over reputable fighters? Canelo's getting the same thing. Let me say this. Canelo is constantly proving these doubters and haters over and over to be wrong. 
I do not agree that Triple G beat Canelo at any time. I do not believe that Aristotle and Lara beat Canelo at any time. Even though that fight was closer than all the other fights. But this one thing I would say. People are drumming up this excuse now for other fighters not to face Canelo, which is so stupid because the, the biggest amount of cash you're going to get in boxing at this point in time is facing Canelo. Canelo's a cash cow. So if you really want to make some money in boxing, you have to face Canelo. Anyway, I got to wrap it up and I got to return a phone call here that just came in the middle of this uh, telecast. I'm going to try and wrap it up. I got some more videos for you guys, but this is just one of those videos I wanted to... And, and another thing... Um, I don't think there's anybody at middleweight right now that can beat Canelo. That's the truth. Okay? Just because of the just the kind of things he's doing in that ring and the kind of experience he has and the kind of level of opposition he's faced, I just don't see guys like Demetrius Andre and Billy Joe Saunders facing Canelo. Now, one of the points that uh, Amir TV Amir TV made, I just want to try and wrap this up real quick, is he was saying that when you look at Billy Joe Saunders' resume, he ain't fought nobody that is on the level that proves that he could face a Canelo. He was going to face Demetrius Andre, and then he came up dirty for uh, some 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 PED. All right. So at the end of the day, though, Billy Joe Saunders um, is a very good boxer, proven it time and time again. If I were him, I would want him to face. Uh, I would have want him to face Demetrius Andre. What he's trying to sh shoot for, as he said, he's looking at Callum Smith. Or he's looking at uh, GGG, or he's looking at Canelo. This is what Billy Joe Saunders said. All right, Tyson Fury is making excuses for him not to face Canelo, but that's stupid. I mean, if you gotta face somebody in the business right now, you wanna face the guy that's making the most amount of money. And the guy that's making the most amount of money in the business for boxing right now, not Manny Pacquiao, is Canelo Alvarez. All right, he's a cash guy of the, of the business right now. So I would not turn down a Canelo fight. Okay, um, Billy Joe Saunders. Um, has also a reputation of not taking some of the big fights. Triple G wanted to face Billy Joe Saunders, uh, I believe, once, I think, and Billy Joe Saunders said he wasn't ready. And then the second time, Billy Joe Saunders wanted to have that fight, but ended up being a kennel fight. The other thing is that uh, Billy Joe Saunders would love to face Triple G. You know why? Because he thinks he can outbox Triple G. I don't know if that's, I think he got the skill set to do it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't deny him that. Uh, Demetrius Andre may, may be able to outbox Triple G as well. It should be a tough fight for both of them. Triple G keeps on coming and he's tough. You got a chin and everything, right? So it would be interesting. But anyway, last last point I want to make, and I'm wrapping it up uh, when it comes to boxing, is that when you look at Canelo Alvarez or Triple G or or, or, or Callum Smith, which is what uh, uh, Billy Joe Saunders is talking about, he never faced none of those guys of that caliber. He's not faced a Danny Jacobs. He was going to face a Demetrius Andre. Demetrius Andre being a two-divisional weight champion, it would have been good for him to face Demetrius Andre. I'm telling you why. That would have been the first really good fighter he faced on his resume who we could say, okay, well, this guy's undefeated, one. Two, he's also been a world champion for a long time, beating some names in the business, uh, you know, Bonds, Monterosian, et cetera. He would have been a guy that, yeah, He's up and coming. Billy Joe's up and coming. That would have been a good fight for him. He screwed it up, right? He screwed that up. Lost that opportunity. So, at the end of the day, that would have been a good fight to really show and a softball that. It would have been a good fight for, him, for us to say, yes, okay, this guy can face uh, Canelo Alvarez because he beat Demetrius Andre. Which didn't happen. So, um, yeah, I, as I would say again, and, and Demetrius Andre has not been beaten. So, that would have been good. Uh, Demetrius Andre... Uh, Demetrius Andre has fought. Remember, Billy Joe Saunders has faced Chris Eubank Jr., who just beat, uh, what is his name? I forgot his name. It's Chris, uh, James DeGale, right? But anyway, I gotta go. Uh, I'm gonna return a phone call. I'll, I'll catch back to you guys later. Uh, I'm just trying to just kind of recoup myself, get myself back together so we can get uh, uh, on the road uh, doing different things. But at the present moment, we're just uh, chilling here, relaxing a little bit. I'm cooking some food I think I think I'm cooking some food on the stove I gotta make sure I get my food done and everything and I'm gonna come back and talk some more boxing with you guys because we got some more boxing talk to talk about we got some upcoming fights not some not the greatest upcoming fights right now but we we'll still talk about those upcoming fights so you guys stay tuned I need more subscriptions I need more subscribers you guys are doing good enough we got uh, live chat live chat feed 
Want to see you guys doing that. Also, in addition, don't forget you can always donate to my channel, True Money Grand Western Union, if you got any other items. Actually, it will change. Very soon, I'll be able to do the uh, uh, online payments where you guys can pay me online and uh, I can actually uh, accumulate that money. So, if you very soon, we'll be able to do the uh, pay chat thing where you guys can just put your pay donations into the uh, YouTube, your money donations, your pledges, or whatever. And I can collect the money via online. So I'm working on that. I'm working on getting an online card and stuff so that we can get the online transaction. So you guys don't have to do all of this other stuff like Western Union and all of that. You can just pay straight to my uh, bank account or whatever. Um, so I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you guys have a good one. I will be back with you guys to talk some more boxing in a bit. I just need to return a phone call here. All right. All right. You guys have a good one. Peace. Deuce.